All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. Listen to me. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more Daily 2K content. And let's get right into it. But for my boy Laptop Thug, you know I got to give it up for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ. I got to change it up, man. I got to get I gotta get these joints uh, straightened up. Coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Y'all making it real easy for me to do these videos. We will be making a new channel for 2K21. We got to see if, if, if the channel... I have to know if the myth is real or if it's a myth or if it's something that's real. Do you really grow faster or better when you create another channel and go from there? I seen Joe Nose change his name. He, he blow up. I seen Swante make two or three different channels and, and they always hit. You know, again, like, you know, once one, I, I don't know, man. I've seen it happen. And, um, you know, we just got to see what it is, man. But look, this is what I want to talk to y'all about today, man. Before we do anything, get your Breeze and these T's in the Breeze when you rock with Breeze T's. We got custom stuff, all this type of stuff, man. Look, man, and the, month, the number one seller right now is the JJ Reddick Shooter Shoot shirt. Man, you can get that on anything. Somebody had got them on all three of the tank tops, my boy. I appreciate that, man. Also, uh, we want to give big shouts out. Uh, yeah, all this custom stuff. You can do a custom mask, man. You can do a custom T-shirt. Um, you know, custom mouse pads, all of that, man. Go check those out. I'm not going to go in depth with that because I really don't want to just because uh, people ain't really been, um, people haven't really been, been really, you know, that responsive. And uh, last but not least, we got to give a shout out to a couple of people that got some merch. My boy, Laker. Ooh, look at that. Hashtag point center. I made that for him, man. Shoot a shoot. He got the I get buckets. And then he made his own slow progress over no progress. Hey, we got Ty with the green shot gang, man. This is his own custom joint, man. I, and I made it uh, come to light. He designed it. I made it, man. That's how I do. But uh, last but not least, I want to talk to y'all about something in this video today. And um, let's just get to it, man. I was inundated last night and this is inundated for me like i'm not a big youtuber or anything but uh by responses and likes and all that and i guess it was a tweet that i was i was uh tagged in or whatever hey look at they said they say even your boy black a uh, blazer repping the gym stars man we might have to actually have to make this if i should make this shirt y'all let me know man because i do that cause i am a gym star the original gym star hey this ain't fine in bridget and bridget will have the winners of the mouse pads let me show y'all some of the mouse pads real quick, man. This mouse pad is going to be up for sale. I mean, not up for sale, but this is going to be, uh, you know, you'll be able to win this. So just put Kobe Infinity Gauntlet uh, down, in the, down in the joint. Oh, they already did. Oh, they already did. They did on the other beach. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, This one is for Miles. Miles, send me your information. Miles, what you doing? This is yours. And then... um. Like I said, I made one for Binary State of Mind. I made one for my boy Binary State of Mind. We got the mask in, so I'm about to send that to him. And then, uh, but Bridget said she will, we're going to announce the winners tomorrow. Um, and so we'll get that done then. But anyway, I was inundated. But yeah, that's, that's how the custom mouse pads and stuff come out. And you know, I got my boy Dragonfly John Silence, punk. But uh, I was inundated last night with a lot of tweets and retweets and stuff like that. And I'm just, I like to go through and just see what people are talking about, man. So it just says, my boy, at me, bro. Um, the at me, bro show. Uh, it says, I don't normally do this, but I'm tagging some folks in this one. The community has to start to understand this. And uh, it just says, this is a rant video. Um, it's a rant video that YouTube is ruined 2K. And then he said, this needed to be this, this needed to be a discussion panel. Um, great topic i'm always willing to do discussion panels does anybody want to do that holla at your boy um i think that we need more discussion i think we need more youtubers getting together and discussing these things like me and brute do uh just like with uh like we used to do with the banter and all that we start bringing somebody on seeing how that works and uh we just need more discussion and more youtubers unifying and talking you know talking at the devs or to the devs and all of that instead of us going at each other and saying, oh, this guy's a cheeser, he's trash, blah, blah, blah. We need to, if, if we find something that happens, if it's an exploit or anything like that, that needs to be a discussion had, we need to bring it to the forefront. And we really need a formal way in order to um to do it. But anyway, okay, he said, there's a reason I haven't played in months. That's one, that's one guy says. 
And then he just says the message that you just posted. Uh, let me see that, that, that. Okay, your post about the competitive state of the game and why you were and why you were dialing uh, back a while ago. I don't think that people realize how much you adapted compared to what you really like slash prefer about 2K. A lot of us adapted and stuff like that. But anyway, at me, bro. He got uh, he got my attention. Not even gonna lie, this is a lot of these joints right here. Got my attention, and uh, he made an excellent video. An excellent video, twenty five minute video. I listened to all twenty five minutes of it, and uh, you know, if I listened to all twenty five minutes, it must have been an excellent video. We're going to talk about this video, but one thing I want y'all to hear is what he had to say real quick. This is the line of competitive integrity. We designed to be the game. We we designed for the game to be this way. And if we cross this line, the game will not play well. And I don't want to cross the line where the game doesn't play well. Other companies that do very, very well make that decision. Blizzard makes that decision. Blizzard could easily say, you know what? We're going to just charge you $5 mm -hmm. a character. And you know what? We're going to make a character so broken that everybody has to mm. buy the character. They could do that and ruin Overwatch and watch Overwatch die in a year. Oh, let me, let me, let me. Let me. Year. You know what I'm saying? You could argue yeah, that's what they do with Overwatch. You could be like, you know what? We're going to release a gun that one shots you from across the map no matter what mode you're in has a 100% ADS speed and speeds you up when you run they could do that yeah but they have competitive integrity yeah some and some because you can Capcom camp and listen to footsteps but whatever um what you call it um, my favorite game, game of all right. time they have competitive integrity and 2k has no competitive let me show y'all something I about competitive integrity man what League of Legends does every now and then League of Legends will launch and they'll come out and they'll have a character you buy the character the character's damn near free to play free free to uh, uh it's pay to win damn near let me show y'all something about this this is my boy dire is playing right he's playing uh rangar rangar has something called a triple q you see how he just deleted that carry now that carry got deleted that's what the triple q looked like you buy the character you go in they go, you know, you pretty much test it. And then something like that, they would leave that in 2K. You know what I'm saying? The the people would advocate for, for you to leave that in. He just straight deleted Ari. This is my guy, Darius. Just straight jumped over the wall and deleted Ari. And then when a bruiser walked up, they beat him to death. Let me show y'all something else in, in League that used to be. This is Darius. I mean, this, this is Darius, right? Darius used to have a move that was a, uh, it was like a dunk. You know, they call it dunk fest a lot of times. And he could just kill people. And if he, if he killed you and you bled out, it would reset. Now it resets if you execute the person with it. Now look at that. That's one. Rack! That's two. Rack! Three. Rack! Four. Now he has a reset. Five. <laughs> These are the things that used to be in League of Legends. And the reason that they're not in there anymore is because Riot has some form, not a lot, but some form of uh, competitive integrity. Because they realize that while that might not be something that is broken, when somebody who is a marginal player plays the game, they realize that if a professional plays the game, it's going to be completely broken. There will be nothing that you can do. And they will just completely just run the game. Now, they don't do it based on somebody tearing it up in solo queue or what have you, unless they got like a 60, 70. If, if a champion has too high of a win rate, they go back and they look at why this champion has such a, such a high win rate. That's what they'll do. And they will adjust things about the character, rework the character. Conversely, if the character has too low of a win rate or, uh, or does, has a really low pick rate, they'll figure out why and they will adjust things. Now, you can argue that League of Legends is an ongoing game and they have their entire staff on it all of the time. 2K has a very small, trades up, splash down, has a very small development window. And so, we probably get about two or three months after the game. After January, it, that's probably the final patch, and it's probably it's probably over. But the thing of it is, like I said, League of Legends. If you have something in the game, 
that people see as overpowered and it's just like you just can't there's nothing you can do about it. If the only way to beat something in League of Legends is to outplay it, and I know people will be like, well, you just gotta be good, man. You just gotta outplay it. No, no. Everything in a video game, in real life, you must outplay me because there are factors beyond our control in a video game we're bound to these laws that are in the video game. They're not as diverse as the laws in real life, the laws of physics and the laws of all these, you know, the laws of physics um, and, and things like that. So. Like, I can't jump over somebody and and go to the, you know, in real life, there's fatigue. I can't just go to the rim and keep getting hit and keep getting hit. And then I still have the power to do it, you know, over and over. We get tired. You can't run 100% all the time. I know you're going to eventually miss. We're governed by a different set of laws out here. So they understand that it right. And what they will do is after a while, if the only way to beat something is to outplay it, if there's not a natural counter in the game for it, if there's no counter play, in the game, built into the game, they will take it out. This is just like how the, how we how we talked about it. Get that shot out of here. How we talked about at the beginning of the year, the behind the back. The only way, yeah, you can beat the behind the back. You can beat speed boosting in, in 2K16 and stuff like that. But the only way to do it was to outplay it. So it has to be taken out. And the thing is, a lot of people say, well, YouTube is a ruin in the game because we show this stuff. We, a, a lot of times, if I'm showing you something, if I'm showing you something that's broken, and when I showed y'all that Russell Westbrook um, hop step glitch at the beginning of the year, I was like, yo, if everybody else finds out about this, this is going to be tough. <laughs> I said that in the video. And then they didn't do anything about it, and, it, and, it, and hop stepping has become, now I'm not mad. I don't I don't care about the hop step because you can stop it, and you can stop it in a way other than outplaying it. And there is a natural counter in the game for it. You just need to turn your interior defense up. If you elect to not turn your interior defense up, then that's on you. I can't do nothing for you about that. But anyway, like I said, we got that. We got the tennis's glitch. And the tennis's glitch, a lot of people probably didn't understand what I was saying, but the tennis, I hate this build by Brute, man. This damn bear. He a lot. Anyway, um, you know, the tennis's glitch, that's in the game. Stuff like that, like, we just got to take those things out of the game. We got to work on that. But that's been in the game for like 10 years. My boy Ramp said, bro, that's been a thing. And since since uh, 2K, like 11, people were doing the tendencies glitches and it's just a legacy issue and they never took it out. And just like T says, once we get to a point like this, T just say, bro, I don't think they can fix it. I don't think they, and, and, and you're right. I don't think that we got people here just not wanting to fix stuff. I think that they just simply don't have the ability to fix it. It is what it is. But, uh, you know, hey, it, it is what it is. But one thing about this whole thing is, like we said, it's two parts of it. It's sharing tech, not only sharing tech, but making the developer. Part of it is us sharing tech, and the other part of it is us making the developers aware of these things so that they can be fixed. Some people are just trying to get clicks and views, but some of us actually want a very good trades up splash down team take over in this bitch uh we want a very good balanced functional game you understand what i'm saying like uh like last year three shots and you were in takeover they realized that that was just too much it was that, that was not something that that needed to be the case and so now takeover is significantly harder to get people very rarely get takeover against us and they damn sure not getting team takeover against us. But last year, you saw it almost every game. These are things that get balanced. Now, if we make them aware of these things, it may not get balanced this year, but it'll get balanced next year. And yes, we do end up with something that's a cumulative effect. And we do get the game eventually. Hopefully in next year, they're going to address all of this stuff. And then we'll get a better game. But if not speaking of which speaking of better game man make sure y'all watch uh y'all y'all uh, I'm, I'm doing a new channel man let me know what uh, that channel should be called but anyway we gotta have the cheesers because the guys at 2k they play the game with integrity we need the cheesers to go break the game so they can figure out what to fix like people say well y'all just stop breaking the game and it'll be cool now right look at that brute climbing the ladder on them it's not that we need people to break the game so we know what to fix if you don't know what what cracks like, do you know that people that I work in networking, right? Don't you know that we hire people to do a pen test on our, on our products? I set up a network. This is what I do. I set the network up. I hire somebody to come and do a pen test. Trades up. Green bean money team splash down. I hire somebody to come and do a pen test to find, to let me know where the cracks are in my network so that I can address them. 
Do you realize how asinine it is to say you guys shouldn't try to break the game because it's fine how it is? No, that's just plain stupid. You have to break the game. You have to figure out the holes in the game so that they can address it and fix it. Because the attitude that that uh, security through obscurity, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. That's like Mac users where Macs don't get viruses. No, it's just a very small percent of people in the world that use Macs so that they don't so they don't make my virus for Macs because it's useless. If it's like 10,000 people that use Macs and 60, 60 million that use PCs, who are you going to make the virus for? It's literally a waste of your time where I can go somewhere and, hey, damn, every site is going to have a PC, but only a certain number of people are going to have a Mac. Like, you know, I might not, you might not even, a, a, a hacker might not even encounter a Mac in the wild if you're looking for something. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Like I said, bro, and that, that's a whole nother rant. There's got to be counterplay. We got to have counterplay. You got to have, just like he said, he mentioned in the video, he mentioned Street Fighter. And, and the thing that I love to say is, with Street Fighter, you got to have, well, you got to have people to try to break the things so that you know what to fix. But one thing... That I, that I always like to say is counterplay and things like that, finding those things and nerfing things is a slippery slope. Because you had Smug with Dudley in Street Fighter. Smug was beating the hell out of everybody with Dudley. And they nerfed Dudley. Because Smug could crush everybody with Dudley. They should not have nerfed Dudley. When one person in the world can do something, if there's one person like in, in, in uh, 2K17, BTR Steffel was the only person shooting like that with a pure lockdown defender, uh, 610 at the center. He, BTR Steffel was the only person doing it. That didn't need to be nerfed. Now, in when when 18, 19, and all that came out, and people were doing it, get up, motherfucker, woo, motherfucker, get up. In the in the later two Ks, when everybody was doing it, that's when something needs to be nerfed. So not only do we need to to know that things need to be balanced, but we need to know when to balance these things. You can't just balance everything and just break it, you know, just because just because one person, when Dimes was killing everybody, you know, they didn't need to nerf ankle breaker, but when everybody's able to do it, that's when you need to do it. And you know, it is what it is, but the main thing that he talked about, and you gotta go watch the video, link down in the description. He was talking about randomness and the two player animations and stuff. This stuff is gonna go over a lot of people's head, but it's randomness, two players anim animations and stuff like that. I don't have a problem with the fact that you got the randomness and the two player animations. I have a problem with the fact that it's, it's less random than, than we would like to think to the point where people can activate those, those animations. Come here, get over here. They can activate these animations at will. They seem to be able to activate them at will and they know when to do it and they know how they can do something to put your player in the animation, uh, i.e. the hop step, i.e. the behind the backs and stuff like that, um, between the legs. He talked about all that stuff, man. And you know, like I said, the biggest thing is we, we do this. We try to do this to show them the cracks in the game because we want a better game. We don't want a bad game. We don't want a game where you can just do what you want to and just play it out. We want a good game, a good solid game. That's why Gideon Prime 2 chases. That's why he puts these videos out ad nauseum. I watch every single one of them. I'm Gideon Prime's biggest fan. And you know what? He was a prognosticator because because he is Apex is free. And Apex Legends is free. Apex is free. So he a prognosticator. But the whole thing is we want a better game. It's not people complaining. It's not YouTubers just crying about the game. If you're saying that somebody's crying about the game, it's, it's clear that you're probably a bum and you want it to be that way because it's easy for you to be able to compete with people that are above your head. Newsflash, you shouldn't be able to compete with people above your head unless you start playing better. And so that's why we put these things out there and say, yo, this is something, I see stuff way before everybody else sees it because I see it in its purest form. Trades up, splash down. I see that people are going to exploit something. That behind the back was cool, but when I couldn't stop it in that one pro-am game and the dude torched me, I said, this is going to be a problem because if somebody else figures out how to do this, it's over with. Lo and behold, it almost ruined the game. Pushing, I put the video out there early in the year. In the beta, I put pushing out. In, in 2K19, y'all don't listen to me though. I said, this is gonna be a problem. You can push people out of the paint. Then I could do a trades up, splash down. Then you were doing it on defense or whatever. And I'm like, yo, uh, you know, pushing is gonna be a problem. What happened? Lo and behold, pushing was a problem until January. The game was damn near unplayable until they fixed it. I really wish I hadn't put that video out there, but I did. You can go back and check the timestamp. I did it in the doggone beta. 
and told them it was gonna be a problem, but they don't watch my video because they don't think I, I know what I'm talking about because I don't have a lot of subs. I don't understand that. The, the more subs you have, the writer you are. Don't y'all realize that most of the people that got these subs don't even play the game? They don't even play the game. Or they're not playing the same game that you're playing because they're playing against straight bums in their parts that just want to play against them and possibly be in the video. And then they cherry picking the games that they put it up. That's how you do it. It is what it is. They're not streaming. They're not playing this game like most of those guys you listening to. But it, it is what it is. They're definitely not playing on both consoles like I am and like I will be. But whatever, man. Like I said, most of the things that happen, 2K is going to choose to ignore rather than to address. It is what it is. It's sad. It's sad. But like he said, the one thing that he said, man, we need to turn this energy to the developer. Instead of turning it at the YouTubers and saying, hey, YouTuber, stop crying. Hey, Swante, stop crying. Hey, Swante, you the one that dribbled and broke the game. Hey, Stizo, you dribbled and broke the game. Blah, blah, blah. We're literally just trying to show you that this is something that could be broken. And we know that at the highest level of competitiveness, people own, it's in Street Fighter, it's in League of Legends, it's in Overwatch, it's in Apex Legends. People only do what works. In regular games, you play around. But at the highest level of competition in this game, people are only going to do what works. That's it. They're going to they're gonna err on the side of efficiency. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to sit here and be like, you know what? Um, maybe I'll try something new. No, you try something new out in practice. You don't try it out in competition, my boy. And that's just how it goes. So knowing that people are only going to do what works, and do whatever the cheesiest thing is, we have to err on the side of competition and, and put the put the heat on the devs and say, yo, y'all need to fix this. We got a lot of stuff fixed this year, man. We got the fades fixed. That was broken. We knew that was going to be broken, uh, you know, first day. So we got fades fixed. We got the behind the back fix. They took pushing out of the game. Uh, if they put a defensive three seconds in the in 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 the park or something, that might be cool. But I, I don't care about that. We're really just talking about the things that that kill the competitive integrity of the game. We got a lot of things changed. The hop step is not as effective as it was in the beginning, unless you put on the right stuff and you know what the right things are. I just say instead of blaming YouTubers for bringing this stuff to the forefront, let let's talk to the devs. And I'm gonna tell you, just like what he says, see, a lot of people don't they don't know gaming before YouTube. So they just blame, bro, this stuff used to be on message boards. You can go back to the, um, I've been doing this back in, back on, um, on, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, what was it? Gears of War, Gears of War 1, Gears of War 2. I was one of the most active people on the Gears of War forums because I love that game so much and I put so much energy into it. I had to tell Cliffy B and the rest of the developers, man, I got banned by Cliffy B blocked by but i had to tell them what was wrong with the game oh get up get up <laughs> man down oh pimp in distress i had to tell them what was wrong with the game they're always going to be message forms that's where forums was forums was what it before youtube and the more comments you got and the more likes you got on it that really showed how you know how 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 viable your post was and it was the same way when certain people posted on forums they had more clout so they got whatever but you know it is what it is look man youtubers aren't aren't posting the, the real moves the real moves and stuff like that them joints is on reddit all right the real moves is on reddit the real moves is in these black uh, in the black listed forums and all this stuff dark web forums stuff. that's where the real stuff is to break the game it's not on youtube it never has been people think that youtube killed this stuff man you're dead wrong it's been like this it's been a group of people sharing information. It's the people that had the internet. It's just that YouTube gives, gives it away where you can watch it in video form. You just take it in pill form real quick and then you can go about your day instead of having to sit there and look on the forums and scour through things like that. But like I said, I've been gaming for a long time, man. And I've always been into this and I've always wanted the devs to, out, to hold the devs to a high standard. But anyway, like I said, man, go watch my guy video, man. It's an awesome video. I think my video longer than his, so I beat him on that. But uh, you know, I think it's a dope video. He has some very relevant points and uh, he needs more subs. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this down in the comment section. Y'all go check it out. And uh, we're gonna have to y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed. Y'all let me know, man. Am I right? Am I wrong? Oh, yeah. Also, 
yesterday. I did what I did. I used the person that I used for a reason because I know he's a dickhead, but I just wanted to show that it's hard to listen to somebody who's a dickhead, a known dickhead, but but they're right. You understand what I'm saying? It's hard because if you know somebody's a dickhead, but but a, a broke clock right twice a day. So you can't just discount what somebody's saying just because they are a dickhead. Now they might knock down what they said right after that, which he inevitably did. But I just want to say, you know, like we have to be able to scour through the information, listen to what's, what works, take and pick and choose what we take from it and go from there. But you know, I did it for a reason, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. I'm uh, Y'all take it easy. Holla.